Here's the challenge. Let's create a person detection service here in this park that will send me on my smartphone notification when a person is detected. Um, it needs to be based, of course, on open source software, so there's no lock-in. Um, it needs to be scalable, so it can be replicated hundreds and thousands of times. And no possible intrusion in the private sphere. Right, let's do that. Three minutes? What do you mean three minutes? How, how can I do that in three minutes? That, 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 that's crazy, what do you mean? Okay, so first thing we'll need is a camera. Ta-da! Uh, now, we don't want to send the uh, video feed of this camera straight to the cloud or to the wide area network because that would be a massive intrusion in the privacy sphere. What we need to do is to process that video stream locally. And for that, we'll need a computer. Ta-da! Now, this is a Raspberry Pi with a, uh, a battery inside, so I don't need a, an external power source. Um, it's a small ARM processor, but we could actually use any x86 processor as well. Um, it works exactly the same. So, now we need to simply connect the video camera to the Raspberry Pi in order to create a, a local system. However, we want to operate this uh, remotely um, and also, and we need to download to this uh, computer an AI module or a machine learning module that will uh, analyze in real time the video feed and detect uh, people in, in, the, in the field of view so that there is no saving of that video stream uh, anywhere uh, so that there cannot be any exploitation of it. Okay, so for that, we need software. So to do that, um, I've prepared uh, an SD card here um, with the Nuvla Box software into it. Uh, I've put uh, links in the uh, description below so you can actually follow the same procedure if you want to do it. So let me just put that into the, uh, the Raspberry Pi. And then just start the device. Voila. Okay, so now um, let's switch to the Nuvla platform. Uh, I'll do this on my phone, uh, but you can follow along uh, on the, uh, the desktop version so that it's a bit more comfortable and, and easier to, to understand. Before we continue, let's have a look at the overall picture. On the right here, we have the Nubla box and the video camera that we've connected together a second ago. Now, we need to deploy a video AI application into it, and that will do that using the Nuvla platform. But this video AI needs also a message bus application in the cloud to send notification when it detects a person. And then I'll be able to use the same message bus to register a little tool in my iPhone so that I get also on the phone notification when a person is detected. Okay, so here's the Nuvla management platform. So uh, we'll start by logging in. So we'll go to the Edge page and we see here that the uh, Nuvla box is connected and it's sending telemetry. So now let's go to the App Store and we'll start with the uh, message bus application. So we're using uh, RabbitMQ for this, so let's launch that. We're choosing a um, Swarm cluster at Exoscale, which is a, a European public cloud provider. So that's really fast. There. Now for the video AI application to send notification to the right message bus, I need to retrieve the port. Uh, so we'll do that right here. And I'll use this to configure the application in a second. Okay, so back to the App Store. We now look for the video application there. This one will deploy obviously on the Nuvla box that we've just uh, configured. And then in the environment variables, I'll just drop in this um, port number I just copied so that the uh, notification are sent to the right message bus there. And we launch. That's a very simple AI application, so it's quite quick to load. There, we're all set. We have a message bus running in the cloud 
and a video AI application running at the edge. Okay, now let's test the system. Ah, oh, yes, it works. So here we are, we've created an edge to cloud architecture, allowing AI modules to be deployed at the edge in a secured way in about, what, yeah, three minutes. I hope you found this interesting. Subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.